to my channel. It's Black Cherry here, as you all know. Get into this hair. So today's Valentine's Day DIY, I will be making a centerpiece. It's not gonna look like this, but just shout out to my mom for this, okay? Look at Look at how cute this is, the presentation. Everything. I'm gonna put her link down below so you can see how she made this. But she's my little inspiration. But let's move this to the side and get into mom's. So, I will be making a centerpiece and the items that I'm using, you can use whatever items you decide and, you know, come up with your own kind of flavor, your own kind of spice to spice it up. But this is what I'll be using today and I got my items from Dollar Tree and also the 99 cent, the 99 cent store because Dollar Tree did not have chalk. So, let's start with the 99 cent store first. Chalk. I got this for $1.19. I got this. And it was $1.39, and this was from the dollar store, too. I got it because I really wanted this. I really don't need these flowers. So, you know what we're going to do? Flowers? Throw them out. Because I just need this. It says, I love you. Isn't this cute? Let me get this. And that's what I got from the 99 cent store. From the Dollar Tree, I got two of these. So, they are hearts, and they're chalkboard. So, that's why I got the chalk to write on it. flowers I got one two so I have two roses here and then I have one two I have three bunches of peonies so we have roses and peonies you will be needing a marker um, a, ruler. a ruler so that you can measure your so you can measure this thing. Listen, I'm not a pro at this, so y'all just gonna get it how it is. Ruler, handy dandy scissors. I got some rose petals to make it cute and fun, and which I already opened. And we need this little flower shear to cut the the ends, like the the stems of the flowers. So got this. You can get this in your local Dollar Tree as well. We have some glue sticks. And then we also have our handy dandy glue gun. Because you know, every person that has a DIY channel, they have a glue gun. So I had to get a glue gun too. And then I got this little box. It says Happy Valentine's Day. And it opens just like this. It's really small and cute. And I got some candies. I got some candies to put in there. So this one. It is like a little bear. It's really cute. I thought this was really cute. You have to make it fun. I got nerds because my boyfriend loves nerds. And I'm actually giving I'm a, I'm gonna give him this box with all this candy. And then I got this one. It's a cookies and cream. It's in the form of hearts, and I love cookies and cream, so you know. He can eat the nerds and I can eat the cookies and cream out of this box. And you would also need a board just like this so that you can hold so that the centerpiece can be held by something together does that make sense Oh, you can 
like put it just like this, whichever way. So on the front, we're just gonna be real cliche and just write Happy Valentine's Day. And the front says happy valentine's day and then remember you have your little i love you at the top so they won't forget that and then on the back i just wrote 2019 at the top a heart and be mine be fine be mine and be fine i should have put two b two e's this is so tacky but it's cute if your man don't appreciate this throw him out Throw the whole man to go. Let that man go if you don't appreciate this be mine and be fine saying. But you can write a quote on the back. You can write have a good day. Like, you know, if they're getting up early before you, you can put this in the kitchen. So, like, when they're making breakfast, this will be in the kitchen. So, it will say happy Valentine's Day. And then you put the little post-it note, like, turn me around to make it cute. And then it will say have a good day at work. I love you. Whatever, whatever you wanted to say, personalize it to how you like. You have it, your own DIY centerpiece. Let's give it a like, let's give it a like. Let's put it in slow motion for y'all. But this is so cute. I'm in love with this. You can even give this as a gift if you want. So they can like, if y'all don't live together, you can give it as a gift so they can put it in their house and they'll always think of you. So every time you go to the house, you will erase something on the board and write something cute. That would be cute too. But you can really give this to someone as a gift. And you put your time and effort into it so they should appreciate it. But candy, give it to them with the candy too. So. You can peel this off. Oops, shit. So you can peel off this on the back if you want. It's like a little gift box. And this is like plastic. And then the top says Happy Valentine's Day. So you can even like put this a little bow on the top. And then they'll like open the little bow and then open it and it'll be candy. Or you can put like a cupcake in here. But I wanted to put candy because I love candy. So put your husband's boyfriend significant other let's just say significant other so when you're giving this to your significant other you can just put their favorite chocolate their favorite candy their favorite gummy worms their favorite miniature box so, Okay, so this is how it looks before the rose petals. Remember, you can personalize it however you want. And you can also get a bigger box. So, like, they have bigger boxes in Dollar Tree. Which is, like, maybe three times the size of this and two times the size of this. So, if you want to get, like, a bigger bottle, you can put it in there. Or if you want to store it with more candy, you can put it in there. Or if you want to do, like... What else what else is a nice idea like if you want to put his favorite lotion or his favorite like um small like you know the little small travel size lotions and the small travel size colognes you can also put that in there too but obviously you get the bigger box but this is how it looks inside Ooh. and now we're gonna put the rose petals right on top this is like a cute mini gift so you can give this along with something else because you don't want to just give them this because they're going to be looking at you like that's all you got me a bottle a bottle of liquor and a shot glass just like that and that's a wrap that is a wrap so you can also put like i didn't even think of this but you can put like the little bow like a little string and tie it so that they can actually like open 
So look, when you, when they open it, it'll be like, it'll, it'll, this is what will happen. Oh darn, I thought like the flowers was gonna come out. Let's put a little bit more. So that way, when they open it, it'll get stuff, snuffed with flowers. Okay, so here you go. So when they open it, So you gotta stuff like a lot of flowers in there so that when they open it, the flowers will just fall out on them. If they don't think that's sexy, let that man go. And we're just gonna put this right on the top. And that's it. So you have your centerpiece and then you have this little small tiny box of love. Ah! Oh. I love you guys, I love you. And then you could just do this for the rest. Don't forget to like. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell so you could be notified every time I make a new upload. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day!